Hey YouTube, this video will show you guys how to install a Mac style dock in your Linux Mint 17. So something like you can see here. So there it is. Uh, if I go down a little bit further, I'll also pull up my main cinnamon menu. But for the most part, it's hidden there. So uh, fairly simple to do, fairly simple to install. All you do need to do is go to a terminal. So start off by finding that terminal in your startup applications or your uh, menu or just click it where you can find it. Then do the following. So type in this command so that you can install. So this one's called a Cairo doc and there is a few, but I'm just working with this one today. And uh, hit dash yes, just so that you can uh, automate the installation a little bit further. Throw in your password and follow the prompts, click yes or Y, enter, and uh, I know that that's actually should be it, in fact. And so that will be installed. So from that point, uh, a couple of things to note. Uh, you can actually configure this a little bit further, a little bit better. So if you were to right click on it, go to Cairo Doc, go to configure, there's a whole bunch of options left and right that you can use. I like, for the most part, the default settings, but uh, we can have the visibility always on top, which I prefer, or sort of pop up or keep the dock below, or all sorts of little things here and there. That's fine. Uh, moving across, this one most people will love. You can actually change the look of it. So currently it's on 3D plane, which I tend to like. Uh, there is a couple that really have the modern age looking OS, OS X sort of factor to it there for Mac. So what else we got? Cool, actually I've never used that. Looks pretty fun and slide okay not as exciting but there we go a lot of options there i won't of course get into them all now but uh you can see shortcuts and things there as well but uh if you just want your machine to look a little bit mac os x then uh then this is the way to go a little bit mac-esque so let's just close out of that now last but not least probably a little bit of a disclaimer you guys are going to want to probably remove this uh, cinnamon panel down the below. So let's go to right click on it and go to panel settings and do what I've done. Just set it up so it's an on auto hide basically. Really similar to a recent video I've done. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys. Um, yeah I've just blurted this one out. Just a really really quick video I'm smashing out today. But uh, yeah that's uh, pretty much it guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Any questions let me know and yeah thanks for your time.